Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and brothers and sisters of Islam. On behalf of El Farouk Islamic Center, I'd like to uh, welcome you all to the presentation portion of the Open House. And I'd like to extend a very warm welcome and thank each and every one of you that has taken the time to be with us uh, here today. Uh, obviously, uh, today is it's a very special occasion for us, a happy occasion for us. Uh, a lot of hard work and effort in this community over the last uh, few years has, has paid off. All thanks and praise uh, be to God. And we are very grateful that uh, uh, you all, uh, especially our non-Muslim guests, are able to participate in this event with us. Uh, we'd like to extend uh, briefly a special thanks as well to some of the elected officials and dignitaries that stopped by earlier today. I think they have all uh, already had to go on other events, but uh, Mayor Harvey uh, Hall was here in person. Uh, Lisa Green, the district attorney, was also here. Uh, so we really appreciate the uh, gesture that they have made by uh, stopping by. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, program tonight is going to be relatively brief. And the primary uh, purpose of today's function, really, uh, is largely a celebratory in nature. And uh, beyond that, it's also an opportunity for the Muslim community to reach out to our non-Muslim friends, family, guests, neighbors, co-workers, and break bread with you all, so to speak. And, uh, you know, we hope it's an opportunity to reinforce the good relations that the Muslim community has had with the non-Muslim community or the greater Bakersfield community for many years. And I say reinforce because, uh, thank God, we have had very good relations overall. I mean, there's a, you know, an incident here or there, but overall we've enjoyed very good relations here in the city. We hope to continue to do that for many years into the future. So for you folks that have interacted with the Muslim community in the past, welcome back. It's great to see you again. For those of you that uh, perhaps have never been in a mosque or this is your first time, very definitely welcome. We really hope that this might form the basis on which we can uh, possibly establish uh, additional dialogue or interaction with each other in the future. And as Muslims, excuse me, as Muslims we are uh, definitely interested in, in doing that. What uh, tonight is really not designed to do is really get into very heavy, deep theological issues. Uh, it's just not really uh, the time or place uh, to do that. Uh, however, we are, as Muslims, kind of keenly interested in doing that. It's just not really the forum for it right now. So we are going to have a, a couple speakers tonight, but I think you will find that their talks will be relatively brief, and there will not be a question uh, and answer component to them. So if anybody uh, has questions or comments or concerns or would like to explore Islam on a deeper level, by all means, again, we completely encourage that, and we don't want anybody to, uh, to feel that we're not responding to their uh, questions. So uh, there are at least three different ways that that can be handled. One is just to stick around after the event. Just stick around after the event. If your questions weren't answered during the tour or during the talk, stick around. There'll be a group of people here, God willing, that will be uh, capable of addressing any uh, questions you have. Secondly, uh, on, every, on your way out, please grab a, a bag. It's basically a, a host bag. It's our gift to, to you folks, and in that you'll find the English translation of the Quran. You'll also find several uh, pamphlets, I believe they're all in English, kind of explaining commonly asked questions about Islam and commonly misunderstood concepts. So if you take a look at that, you read it, you research it, and uh, you, know, you look into it, you have some questions, by all means, uh, just get back in touch with us. And you can do that through a number of ways. The best way, probably, is to just go on the internet, www.iscob.org, iscob.org. And uh, there you'll find all of our contact information, including our phone number, email address, mailing address, etc. cetera. Uh, and you can uh, contact us and we can further dialogue there. Also, we will be having a conference, an Islamic conference coming up, and that is specifically designed to explore Islam and get into the details of your religion. What we believe, why we believe it, what we do, why we do it. And uh, this year, uh, inshallah, we're, God willing, we are going to have uh, Sheikh uh, Man al Qutta, who uh, lots of Muslims probably know him, but uh, if you don't, or non-Muslims may not know him, he's probably one of the few individuals in the United States that can legitimately be considered a scholar, uh, a legitimate scholar living here in the West. And so we'll, we'll have him here in person of that conference. 
Okay, and the that event, yeah, will be Saturday, June the 18th. Saturday, June the 18th, between between five and eight o'clock, and that'll be here. Saturday, June the 18th, between five and eight o'clock, here at this masjid, you all are invited back. And in fact, we strongly encourage you to come back and be our guests again. And in that particular um, event, we will definitely get into some more of the heavier uh, issues and, and all those hard hitting issues, if you like. Um, the, uh, uh, for now, then, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn to our speakers. We'll have, uh, okay, thank you. We'll have uh, two speakers tonight. Uh, the first one will be uh, Sheikh uh, Mohammed al Dura. He's seated in the middle. The second speaker will be... <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the camera. You know what I mean? <laughs> Have to see you. All right. And the second speaker will be uh, Ahmad Mirza. And he's seated on the far right, my far right. And the third gentleman seated up here is, uh, is Noor Miss. He's the current president of the mosque. Uh, he's not going to be speaking, but he'll be uh, helping me with the uh, award presentation at the conclusion of the presentation. So with that, we'll go ahead and turn to uh, uh, Sheikh uh, Mohammed. Sheikh Mohammed al Dura is originally from Yemen. He spent the first, uh, pretty much was raised in Yemen. He spent quite a few years in the state of Michigan before he joined us here in Bakersfield approximately uh, four years ago. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is the greeting of uh, Muslims when we meet with each other or when we see each other. The greeting in Islam to say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The meaning of it is uh, peace be on you. This is the greeting which we learned from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Uh, I would like to welcome all of you and thank you very much for your coming and we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for all of his blessings and graces for our community uh, to have this beautiful mosque in uh, Bakersfield and uh, Allah mentioned in the Quran The meaning of this ayah, of this verse that the places of worship only for Allah so pray not unto anyone along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Muslims believe that the masjid is a place of worship, so it has to be or it has to have most you know much respect for from the Muslims. Also three masjid mosques in Islam, they are the most important mosque for the Muslims. Because Rasulullah mentioned them. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Also, I see behind the importance of these three masajid, they established by prophets and messengers. The first one in Mecca, the mosque in Mecca, which is established by Abraham and his son Ishmael, peace be upon all of them. And the second mosque is the mosque in Medina, the Prophet's mosque, and it's established by the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. And the third one, the Masjid Al-Aqsa, the mosque in Jerusalem, and it was established by Jacob, peace be upon him. And uh, we love all of the prophets and the messengers of Allah, peace be upon all of them. And the masajid are very important for the Muslim communities in any place in the world. So there are many benefits for masajid or from masajid or mas in mosque for the Muslims in Islam. First of all, to strengthen the relationship between the servant and the Lord, between ourselves and Allah, our Creator. And the most important place to make this relationship is from the mosque. That's why Muslims, they come to the masjid, the mosque, to pray five times a day to make this relationship uh, strong and strong every single day. Secondly, Muslims, they come to the mosque to have good relationship between themselves. When you meet your brother five times a day, if he gets sick, if he has any problem, you know easily that my brother is in need, so I have to help him and take care of him. Uh, this is one of the benefits of the masajid of the mosque for Muslims. Also, uh, Muslims in the mosque, they understand that other people's conditions, like health conditions or anything related to uh, the need of their brothers. Subhanallah. And if someone gets sick, for example, 
in Islam, one of the rights upon us for our brothers and sisters in Islam, if they get sick, to visit her. It's right. You have to do it. And if you don't do it, Allah, God will ask you in the day of judgment, why you know that your brother in Islam was sick in the hospital or in the house, and you did not uh, visit him. By the way, you will get a great reward from God subhanahu wa ta'ala, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another thing from the benefits of uh, in the masajid, in the mosque, to gain knowledge. Muslims, when they come to the masjid, the mosque, by the way, mosque means in Arabic masjid. Mostly I used to say masjid uh, instead of mosque, but uh, if you hear me say masjid or masajid means mosque or mosques. For we learn here in the, masa in, in the masajid how the elderly risk have the mercy and patience when they deal with the youth. And the youth, they learn how to respect and be kind with the uh, elderly. And this is one of the teachings we learn every single day in the masajid or in the houses of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Glory be to Him. Also, we understand and learn the obligations we have to others. Uh, for example, to our parents. God mentioned in the Quran to worship Him and to be kind with your parents. So if you worship God and you are not be good with your parents, your worship will not be accepted. This is one of the teachings we learn in the houses or in, in our uh, masajid. Also, how to be kind and good with our uh, spouse, with our children, with our neighbors, either if they are Muslims or non. Muslims, this is the teachings of Rasulullah and the teachings we learn from the Quran and the teachings of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad peace be upon him, uh, from the Masajid. Also, we learn in the Masajid how to become useful in our society, how to be helpful, how to uh, improve the society we live uh, in. And one of the you know, amazing teachings from the Prophet peace be upon him, if you walk in the way, and you see harmful thing, if you take it away from the way of people, you will get reward and it will be counted for you as a charity and you will get the reward in the Day of Judgment. So this is some of the teachings we learn in our Masajid or in the houses of Allah. Also, we learn and uh, teach our people how to ser serve other and not to just work for themselves. And in Islam, uh, as Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Muhammad peace be upon him mentioned that the most beloved to God, to Allah, those who, you, who are useful and helpful for others. So there's a beautiful statement in Arabic. I tried to translate it with Brother Ahmad Jazallah Khair to English. Uh, I will say it in Arabic to, you know, it's it's nice statement. If you live uh, الذين يعيشون لذواتهم كثير والذين يعيشون للناس قليل إن الذين يعيشون للناس حياتهم طويلة وإن قصرت أيامه والذين يعيشون لذواتهم حياتهم قصيرة وإن طالت أيامه Those who live to benefit others their life will be long even if it has short days. And those who live for themselves, their life will be sh so short, even if it has long days. So we learn from in the, in, the, in, in the Masajid how to be useful and how to help our society, our community, not ourselves only. Lastly, I would like uh, to thank you very much for your coming and this is uh, some of the benefits from the mosque or the masajid in Islam. We ask God to bless this country and to bless our uh, houses of worship. Ameen Allahumma Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.